Hello friends, let's begin with computer aided engineering. In previous model, we already gone through different types of APA and how the simulation and visualization taken place. Now we are move, moving the concentration on the mass property calculation, kinematic discrete analysis, and its animation. What is dynamic analysis? Those part we theoretical part we are covered in this session. So let's begin. Computer aided engineering. The first part is mass property analysis. According to uh, any computation of a such features of a solid object as mass volume, surface area, weight, center of gravity plays important role, and specially that is applicable in mechanical design. CAD systems typically calculate the mass properties. For example, for 2D package, AutoCAD calculates some of the mass properties. You are responsible for setting up the correct and unit of length, angles, and density, and uh, determine the mass properties. So that shown in this one of the AutoCAD tool toolbar where we can easy to have a mass property. Interference checking and software. This CAD software examines the 3D geometric models consisting of multiple components to identify interferences between the components. It is useful in analyzing the mechanical assemblies, chemical plant, and simple, uh, similar multi-component design. So, if you observe interference checking, you already done in a MQC, that is metrology and quality control. The we are checking the interferences. So, so such checking in a software like CAD is very important in CATIA, AutoCAD, or Illusion uh, before going to assemble that product in in front of or uh, after manufacturing uh, in front of engineer. So, Tolerance analysis software for analyzing the specified tolerance of a product component is used to access how the tolerances may affect the product function and its performance. To determine how the tolerances may influence the age or difficulty of assembling the product. To assess how variation in the components may affect the overall size of the Finite element analysis. Finite element analysis is a numerical analysis technique for determining the approximate solution to physical problems described by differential equations that are very difficult to impossible to solve. Software for finite element analysis FPA is available for use in CAD systems, aid in space frame, heat transfer, fluid flow, and other engineering computations. In FEA, the physical object is a model by the assemblage of discrete interconnected nodes, that is finite element, and the variable of interest, example, space, spin, and temperature. Here you observe that there is a one of the rectangular part or rectangular plate is available in front of you. If we are going to the finite element analysis, that is having infinite number of uh, degrees of freedom, we have to come to the finite element. So, what we have to do, we have to discretize. So, uh, I have just marked two lines like this and three lines in vertical. So, it uh, come into the square part. So, that square parts are nothing but finite elements. So, only finite elements. So, this particular thing is considered as an element, and these are the all interconnections are considered. Where we get a point that considered as a nodes in the finite element analysis. So these are the elements and nodes. So remember, we are calculating the stress, strain, temperature on the nodes itself. And over the element, we are using a different uh, method that is a we will learn in finite element analysis. So uh, if you understand properly, at the nodes, we are calculating the Stress, strain, temperature, any uh, uh, fluid or flow analysis. So, those things are very important for finite element analysis. The general procedure for FAA is first we have to set type of analysis to be used, whether static, dynamic, then fluid, thermal, that should be used. 
then we have to create the model that is create a geometry uh, that may be imported to the from cat software to cg software or uh, that can be uh, created in cg software itself then define the element type then divide the given problem into nodes and elements okay just like this then apply uh, the material properties and boundary condition that means we have to give the ens modulus poisson's ratio sometimes density so those are the material properties we have given and boundary condition that means uh, for an example cantilever beam the one end is fixed another end is having poles those are boundary condition okay then derive the element matrices for every element we have to derive the matrix that is the stiffness matrix of the element and do the equation then assembly the element matrix so for this element it is k1 this is k2 k3 k4 like this there are 12 k matrices those k 12 k matrices we need to assemble in and to form a element equation and then solve the unknown quantities that means sometimes you know that uh, only at the fixed range that one of the part is fixed so suppose this end is fixed and uh, so that time what will happen the displacement on that part will be zero but other nodes having the displacement the force applied in this direction okay so what will happen so accordingly we have to find the unknown quantity u2 u3 and so on okay we have to find out displacement and the force conditions are given somewhere uh, there are reaction so it is considered as a zero in starting case and we will solve by uh, gaussian uh, elimination method uh, most of the time and uh, penalty approach method so interpret the result after that we have to interpret the result in the form of uh, different uh, uh, visualization process like different plot and different colors images so we already gone through uh, fundamentals of cg kinematic and dynamic analysis kinematic analysis studies the operation of mechanical linkages and analyzes their motion it specifies the motion of one or more driving members of a subject linkage and the resulting motions of the other links are determined by analysis package dynamic analysis extends uh, the kinematic analysis by including the effects of mass of each linkage member and resulting acceleration forces as well as any externally applied forces discrete evolution simulation that is des this type of simulation is used for model complex operational system such as a manufacturing cell or material handling system as a events occur at a discrete moments in a time and affect the status and performance of the system. for example discrete events in a operation of manufacturing cell include the parts arriving for processing or machine breakdown in the cell the measures of the status and performance include status of a given machine in the cell ideal or busy and overall production rate of the cell current discrete event simulation software usually includes an animated graphics capability that enhances visualization of the software thank you so much hope you understand very well